<laughs> All right. Just after that, I heard another explosion and the video was cut off. Did they take a direct hit? Everyone fell silent. Well, yeah. Daddy stormed up to me, infuriated. タイムマシンに。ロケットランチャーを。タイムマシンは破壊されて。それに鈴葉とマユリが乗ってて。過去へ飛ぶ直前だったんだ。マシンの残骸は残ってたけど。全部じゃなくて。だ。だ。どれだけ探しても鈴葉もマユリも死体が見つからなかった。体の一部さえ残ってなかった。まるで跡形もなく消えたみたいに。あの二人。Man, I hope. The tears I tried so hard to hold back came pouring out. <coughs> Daru fell to his knees. Fetis and Maho were staring at me, eyes wide in shock. <coughs> Daru slammed his fist into the floor. <coughs> I tried to wipe away my tears and realized I was holding something in my right hand. It was the cell phone that Mayuri had given me. She told me to read the message on it. It wasn't locked. I opened the mail folder. There were several unsent messages addressed to her friends and family. One of them was addressed to me. Was this what she wanted me to read? With shaking fingers, I tapped the screen to open the message. ちゃんと話しようと思ったけど、うまく言えるかどうかわからないし、オカリンに引き止められると迷っちゃいそうだから、メールにしました。私は鈴さんと一緒に過去へ行ってきます。なんでって、オカリンは怒るかもしれないね
Well, I'm not entirely sure about Yuki at this point. オカリンが Wait, you said it the other way around before. I remember. Saw that one coming. Damn. お前なんかのためにお前なんかのためにお前はバカだでも my heart was in pain. It hurt so much. It was just like after I'd killed Kirisu. Maybe I'd be better off if I just fell over and died. I would do anything to be released from this pain. But in the corner of my tear-blurred vision, I saw it. Hoowin Kiyoma's final weapon, his last hope. A rope, a noose, no, uh, no, it was the thing that had brought me so many nightmares. I staggered to the development room and threw off the cardboard that was covering it. There it was. The phone wave, name subject to change, Unit 02. The thing that Maho and Daru had been working on behind my back. If I could complete this. <laughs> I turned around, wiped my right wiped away my tears, excuse me, and saw my friends looking depressed in the middle of the darkened room. Oh my that's Time Reap Machine not scurry got a wakara night with Dana. Or no you told me. Maho said the one thing she didn't know was how to compress the memory data, which means that everything else was finished, and I knew how to complete it. Daru was the first to nod. All three responded with no hesitation. They turned toward me and spoke their answers clearly. よし。誰セルに発見合格だくれ。エルチを遠隔操作させる。そこで記憶データを36バイトまで小さくする。それなら過去へ転送できる。You could tell she was a scientist by the way her face went pale at the number. 
けどさなんか動作が不安定でこいつただの電子レンジになっちゃう時があってブラウン管工房の42型ブラウン管それが点灯している時に電話レンジカッコ狩りは機能を発揮するブラウン管あそうか Just the word CRT were enough for her to figure it out. The life was coming back to their eyes. So, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able クリスはやってみせたぞそ,それはクリスだからよ私はあの子にはなれないわアットチャンネルに書かれたクリスのメッセージを見ただろうえ Lastly I'd like you to pass a message to the person I respect the most I always regarded myself as an essentially ordinary intellect, and you were always the person I wanted to be. You were the real Amadeus. That was that last bit that I was unable to get in a couple episodes ago. <laughs> I nodded back and smoothed back my hair, which had been mussed by the explosion. Fetus brought me my white lab coat, which had been hanging for ages on the wall in the development room. I bit down on my lip and wiped away the tears one more time. Oh, yeah! Here he is! I took the lab coat and slipped my arms through the sleeves. I spun around so that the hem of the coat flew up and stood triumphantly in the center of the lab just as I used to. And then I declared in a loud voice I looked at Daru and Fetus and finally at Maho. For the first time in a year, I was back to my old self. My friends saw me and nodded, their faces filled with resolve. It took almost two full days to finish work on the phone wave. Meanwhile, the chaos in Akihabara continued, and it wasn't safe to go outside. Working on the Time Leap machine while knowing that the battles might reach us at any minute, or that a special forces team might burst in at any time, was a hard job that wore on our nerves. But still, we managed to finish the machine somehow. I jumped. Two days. Back to the... the seventh, that faithful day. <laughs> The next thing I knew, I was standing in the middle of an Akihabara alleyway. I was holding a cell phone in my hand. I had a nasty headache, and there was a stinging pain in my neck. I felt a pain on one side of my head like a migraine headache, and the left side of my face hurt really bad. My vision flashed with dark and bright spots. I took a look around. The alley was still peaceful. I heard no gunshots and no explosions. The otaku were enjoying their shopping, and girls in maid outfits were calling out to passers by. That alone was enough to tell me for sure that the time, the time leap was a success. 
I looked at the time on my smartphone. July 7th, 5.45 p.m. I had around 40 to 50 minutes before the war began. That still wasn't enough. But the 48 hour limit of the time leap machine meant this was as far as I could go. No. No point in getting negative. If the machine had been finished just a little later, it would have been too late. I should be glad to have made it here at all. I knew what I'd been doing at this time. I was running around Akihabara, looking for Mayuri. First, I needed to call Maho. She should have been looking for Mayuri too. I'll do it for me. Cool. Ah, I see that we actually have service. That's interesting. I hung up before she could answer and went back to the lab myself. She was already there by the time I arrived. Daru was acting a little awkward, probably because he just hit me. I grabbed both of her hands and shook them. Both Maho and Daru seemed confused as to what was going on. え? I'd gone over the mission many, many times while waiting for for work on the phone wave to finish. Excuse me. I thought of everything to say. いや、ジョさん。すぐにアマデウスにアクセスして、クリスとマホをバックアップごと全部消去しろ。レスキネは、あれを平和利用するつもりなんてない。な、何を、そんなめちゃくちゃな。タイムリープしてきたって言っただろ
だったら今すぐに飛ぶしかない Shizuha leapt into the time machine. いやちょっとだけ待ってくれダルドヒアジョウさんが今先手を打っているところだ優秀な二人だ必ずうまくいくだろうでももし仮に思い通りにいかなかったらいかなかったら<笑> Then we're time leaping again. 死ぬかもしれないかもしれないってどういう意味オカリンおじさんがタイムリープする前の世界で私たちはどうなったの<笑> ?Well, you may or may not have died. That's the case. というかおじさんがタイムリープしてきたってことは何か致命的な失敗があったそうなんだね。Just say yes. I didn't know if I should tell them. No, there is no time to hesitate. Suzuhata Mayuri got not taken a time machine. She can't show you a chuckle in me. Look at the rancher, no chuckle, you look at the more. Not taken a mighty of Tarino Staiba. Machine of Zangai no Nakakarawa. Meets Karanaka Tanda. Not a だからかもしれないかそれなら未来は確定してないまだ成功の可能性は残されてる鈴葉ならそう言うと思った止めないでよおじさん Her eyes were filled with resolve They seemed to say that if I tried to stop her she'd do whatever it took to ensure I failed Of course, I had no intention of stopping her. She'd come here to do her job, and there was no way to change her mind. Actually, I'd come here to ensure that she could jump without having to worry about Stratford's interference. But Mayuri, the uncertainty that had been going in and out of my mind ever since I'd read her message reared its head again. No. Mayuri. Did you get to the truth? お前に隠し事をしていたのは謝るでも俺もクリスもみんながお前のことを大好きなんだそんなお前を助けたくてこの世界線にたどり着いたんだなのにお前が言ってしまったら俺は俺たちはオカリンいやお前の気持ちは痛いほど分かってるけどねえオカリンおじさん And then Suzuha spoke softly. オペレーションアークライトが発動したんだよオペレーションアークライト私が聞かされていた当初の計画とは違う戻るのは去年の7月28日じゃなくて8月21日になった8月21日 That was the day Suzuha had come in the time machine and the day I'd given up on everything そのオペレーションにはマユ姉さんも必要なんだ未来の父さんから私はそう指示を受けたついさっきなんだって In the future, Daru had come up with an operation I knew nothing about? And he needed Mayuri for it? Her unexpected words sent my mind reeling おかり And then Mayuri came close enough for me to hold her and grabbed my hand tight She looked a little like she was about to cry Her eyes were clear and bright. Mayuri. Ikasete. Ne? Mayushi mo. Tabomen nanda yo. Ochikon jatteru hikoboshi san o. Mayushi ga. Hippatai te kita ageru kara. Onegai. I remembered what was in that message. I remembered how she must feel right now. 
The last remnants of my hesitation slowly melted away. I suddenly felt a horrible pain in my leg as the shock knocked me several meters forward and onto the ground. I looked down at my leg and saw that there was a red stain around the calf. I felt like it was on fire. The pain flared up each time my heart beat and I couldn't stand. Was I just shot? Why the fuck is she here? A girl in a motorcycle suit was standing there. Kagari had a, had a handgun in her right hand, and in her left she was holding what looked like a bomb. There was no sign of the professor or the other men in camo. That much was fortunate, but Kagari had shown up a little earlier than I expected. I hadn't quite planned for this, but evidently I'd run out of time. <laughs> In fact, there was no sign of anyone but Kagadi showing up. That meant that Daru and Maho's efforts had been successful, and they kept the secrets of the time machine out of Straffer's hands. She was looking at my injured leg and panicking. Unless we get shot a few more times. Kagadi fired again. The bullet struck less than 30 centimeters away from where I was lying on the ground. Suzuha pushed Mayuri inside the time machine and out of my sight. Suzuha followed Mayuri inside, and at the same time the hatch started to close. Kagadi ran up to it. I forced myself to stand up, ignoring the piercing pain, and block her way. Kagadi kicked my injured leg and hard. The pain made me so dizzy I could hardly stand. Kagadi slipped past me and tried to grab onto the time machine. She was going to use the bomb in her hand. If she did, things would turn out the same as last time. My time leap would be wasted, and plus we'd have an injured leg. <laughs> I grabbed her from behind and wrapped my arms under hers. 
I pulled her away from the machine, ignoring the pain in my leg. Is she really this fucking stupid? Mayuri tossed a hard drive to me from the almost completely closed hatch. What fell on the floor was the thing Hirisu had left behind for Maho. I thought Russia had destroyed it. I could just barely hear Suzuha's voice from within the machine. So that was it. Daru had hit it in the time machine? I could see Mayuri looking at me from the small gap in the door. That's right. This was a temporary goodbye. I'd seen her again. Or I'd see her again someday, excuse me. Right, Mayuri? So I would send off my brave lab member 002 with my head held high. And that's what she does. Hell yeah! Ah. God bless America right there. I smiled as the hatch sealed completely shut. The time machine started to roar. I felt like I heard a helicopter in the distance. I believed in him. But for now I had no proof that Daru had been able to crack the complicated Amadeus system and delete every bit of data. It was possible that special forces teams from all around the world we're converging on Akihabara right now. Imagining that made me want to hurry. Quickly. Go quickly! I felt like praying as I watched the pale light surrounding the time machine. Kagadi's cry went unanswered. A bright light covered the time machine and it vanished from this world. <laughs> Kagadi sobbed and glared at me with eyes full of hate. <laughs> she shook away my hands and pointed the gun at my head. I stared her dead in the face. <laughs> スズハと一緒に世界を君がもっと幸せな場所で、マユリと出会えるようにこれから頑張ってみる。だから、もうやめにしよう。な、そ、そんな話信じられない。いや、君なら信じてくれるはずだ。だって俺は。the gun barrel started to shake a little. What Uh, 
Hagadi put her hands to her head as her body spasmed with pain. Kagari wasn't making any sense. Was this brainwashing? Had the professor done something so cruel? I grabbed the flailing hand that held the gun and looked deep into her eyes. She was crying and scared. でも the voice of God she was hearing was probably the professor's brainwashing. How far it had its claws sunk into her mind, I had no way to tell. But now we had Maho, a specialist in brain science. If we work hard at treatment, I'm sure she'll be okay. <laughs> Her voice was normal again. <clears throat> and one of us is dead. There was another sudden gunshot. Kagadi's body collapsed right in front of me. Oh, fuck. I looked over at where it came from and saw another girl in a black motorcycle suit. She wasn't wearing a helmet, so I could tell it was Moika Kiryu pointing a gun at us. Her face was deathly pale, and she was crying. Why? Why? In all honesty, I just really wish she wouldn't come up in this game anymore. Like, I thought we were just going to forget about her. The cell phone fell from her hands. Did she just kill herself? Another shot from her gun blew it into fragments. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I held Kagadi in my arms. Her chest was turning red. Up oh, this shit again. Oi! <laughs> あったんだ。事故。自宅。ですよ。her voice grew thinner. Moika Kiryu collapsed some distance away. Her eyes were unfocused and all she did was mumble. She didn't seem capable of coherent thought. 
Both of them would be in danger if I didn't get them to a hospital. But... Now, she's gonna die. It kind of makes sense that Kagadi would die here. Dozens of men in camo jumped over the fence on the roof out of nowhere. <laughs> Even Daru and Maho couldn't succeed in this short of a time span. Or was this world line going to converge so that the war started here no matter what? No, but... <laughs> If nothing else, they'd bought me time. And that had delayed the attack long enough for Suzuha and Mayuri to leave. That's right. In this instant, we'd already won. The way forward was still uncertain, but there was no doubt that the path to Steins Gate lay before me. The leader was talking on his radio. I could see attack helicopters in the sky. I heard that siren again. Okay, yeah, we already know that. The war was starting. Just as I had thought, even the time leap machine could or the time leap couldn't change that. Luskinen appeared from behind the men in camo. That's right. He was a secret member of Stratford. Just like them. I lay Kagadi down on the ground and slowly rose back up. Blood wouldn't stop coming out of the wound on my leg. The pain was getting worse. But even still, I stood up proud and strong. In front of the men with their guns. In front of the attack helicopter with its rocket launchers. In front of the professor. In front of the war that was about to begin. I laughed as loud as I could in that voice. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it, baby! <laughs> <laughs> God damn music to my ears. That's right. This was the beginning of the long, long epigraph necessary to reach Steins Gate. Madness is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Einstein had once said that when he despaired of human folly. But now I would gladly give myself over to that madness and folly. I would use every bit of dedication and obsession within me to seek the lone different outcome, which the laws of God could not reach. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's, uh, yep, that is, uh, I guess that's it, I think, I think, I don't know, we could be getting something else here, got some loud music though, that was pretty interesting though, I wasn't expecting, uh, Okabe to time leap like that, that was pretty gosh darn crazy, but, I mean, you can definitely see how this is a lot better of a, of a direction than where the, uh, the bad ending was going. Because Okabe kind of lost hope there. I'm assuming that Mayuri and Suzuha went to the past, but probably not for that operation. Uh, maybe it could have been. 
But we needed Okabe to become inspired again. And that I don't think that inspired him just being so lost in a in a in a world where the war has already occurred. I don't know. Uh but definitely a lot better of a of a direction here. Um something that isn't really important is Lukaku. Where where the fuck is Lukaku? We're gonna see a lot of him in this one. Not this branch, which is kinda kinda weird. His importance isn't really there. It's it's more in the other branch with Kagadi, but um, eh, that was the only thing I really noticed on this end. But uh, no, this was this was good. I'm I'm hoping there's something else here because I want to say that what we got here was the Mayuri ending, and I I think we might be getting something a little extra after these credits. I hope so. That'd be pretty cool if we could. I'm, I'm, I'm patiently waiting. It's 2 in the morning. I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. And then you can add in another episode that I did a few hours ago. I'm trying to get all this stuff done before I uh, move. Ho, 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 ho. Are we going to get something? Are we going to get something? Maybe? Please? Possibly? Oh, yes. Milky Way Crossing. I think this is our little extra here. Inga yeah, you right. Oh, shit. 2025 AD. The Future Gadget Laboratory, a.k.a. The Lab. It was also the headquarters of the resistance organization Valkyrie. Once located in a room and a multi-purpose building in Akihabara and had been moved to a new base after the Third World War. The place was far too filthy to really be called a lab, but it was, without a doubt, the home of the best minds in the world as they searched for a way to reach Steinsgate. In the center of the room, Okabe Nintoro was delivering a monologue, posing like a stage actor as his white lab coat flapped. お前が立っているその場所は俺たちがクリスを助けたいと願ったからこそ到達できた瞬間なんだ俺の計画の下準備は完了したあとはお前次第だ最終ミッションオペレーションスクールズの概要を説明する確定した過去を変えずに Kirisu, aka Maho Hiyajo, was, was staring at him, annoyed, from a distance away. Kirisu was Maho's codename in Valkyrie. <sighs> Maho turned toward Itaru Hashida, who was sitting right next to her. <laughs> Itaru was grinning. He was history's greatest super hacker, and he loved Kyowin Kyoma too much. Maho sighed and shook her head. But even as she sighed, inside, she was so sad that she felt her heart was going to burst. She probably wasn't the only one feeling that way. Itaru, Luka Orishibara, and even Rumiho Akiha, who was doing the filming, all seemed a little sad when they thought about what was to come. <laughs> That's 
シュタインズゲートに到達するための選択だ。And then Okabe walked toward the camera that Rumiho was holding. He'd insisted on standing away from the camera with his back turned to give it more atmosphere. So why was he walking towards it now? Maho sighed again. Okabe took the camera from Fetus and brought the lens up to his face. And then he said the final line. Kento wo inoru zo. Kyoki no mad scientist yo. Eru. Psai. Konguru. Mame. And then he stopped the recording. And the video message to the past was complete. It had taken 15 years to get to this point. It was such a long time. And at the same time, it had felt so short. はい、これでバッチリだにゃ。よし。あとはDメールと一緒に過去へ送信。ルカコ、送り先とタイミングを間違えるなよ。はい。今のは2010年の京馬さんの携帯アドレスへ。さっき取ったイタルさんのムービー
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was from the Kyudisu ending, I think? At the end, when... That, that was the only other time that Hyowo and Kyoma came back. At the end of it, after Kagari was saved uh, from Dr. Reyes, who was our antagonist at that point, he sent these texts. I... I... Yeah, that's right, we did get those. Shit. <laughs> How is it that I remember that far back, but... Not more recent. Yeah, we did get these texts. I think. I don't know. So... But to Maho and the others, it was all the same. After 2025, Okabe Nintendo would be gone. He would never come back. He wasn't saying it, but he knew it too. He stared at each of his friends for a moment in turn, as if to help him memorize their faces. Most of their founding members of Vac Valkyrie and the former members of the future Gadget Lab we're here to see him go. Itadu Hashida. Rumiho Akiha, aka Fieris Nyanyan, excuse me. Luka Urishibara, Maho Hiyajo. And standing quietly in the back, Yuki Hashida. A seven year old Suzuha Hashida was hiding behind her legs. Mina. Kyoma de. Ore mi tai na otoko ni yoku tsui te kite kreta. Daga. As she listened to Okabe's final goodbye, <laughs> Maho tried her best to stop herself from crying. She couldn't cry here. She decided long ago that she'd keep hope in her heart, and she watched him go. Yes. Soro soro, That was a special device that only the C-193 was equipped with. It was capable of tracing the space-time distortion continuity created by a Kerr black hole, anywhere from 70 million years of the past to the future. You could call it a time machine tracker. It had been specially designed to allow them to find another time machine. Of course, they had only one reason for making it. To find Mayuri Shina and Suzuha Amane, who'd gone beyond the space-time horizon on Tanabata in 2011. They'd guessed that when the battery on the C-204 failed, it had lost the ability to properly time travel. So after finding them with the C-193, Okabe would give them a spare battery and send them back to this time. If possible, he'd go too. If they could do that, this mission would be 100% complete. But doing that with this prototype time machine would be extremely difficult. Okabe had to have known that. Perhaps he was thinking of sacrificing himself to send Mayuri and Suzuha back to this time. <laughs> the last member of the future Gadget Lab, Kagari Shina, came running onto the floor. Oh shit. Kagari handed him a faded green Upa keychain. That Upa has seen some hard times. Okabe took the keychain and gave everyone one final firm handshake. Finally, he came to Maho. Yeah. 
真帆ねえうんシュタインズゲートは実在すると思うまゆりさんが死ぬことなくそしてクリスも犠牲にならないそんな狭間の世界線が本当にあると思う It was the first time she'd asked that in 14 years, since the battle began on that year's Tanabata. <laughs> Arsa, Okabe Nintaro, Hyoin Kyoma, answered her with a smile, but his smile seemed so sad that Maho couldn't help but cry. <laughs> hey man, I ship him. Maho gave him a hug and swore to herself that she'd never forget his warmth and conviction. <laughs> Okabe nodded a little. よし全員下がれこれよりオペレーションを開始するなお作戦名はオペレーションアルタイルとする He shouted as if trying to raise his own spirits, not just everyone else's, and then he entered the cockpit of the FG C193 time machine. Maho and the others quickly began the countdown sequence to start the time machine. Since this was a trial run, too, they needed to record all the data they could get. A lower roar enveloped the whole machine. The vibration and noise were so loud that the building shook a little. But as far as Maho could tell, the data was normal. The thick hatch of the time machine was slowly closing. Then there was the sharp sound of it sealing tight. Cutting Okabe off from the rest of them forever. うまくいくわよね。大丈夫。今日まで必ずやり遂げるにゃ。その通りです。不可能を可能にする人ですから。ああ、それでこそ僕たちのオカリンなわけでね。オカリンさん。I was gonna say this earlier, but I guess Kagari lived. And got her red hair back. A rainbow colored fog started to rise up around the machine. The sound of the engine grew so loud that it threatened to blow out their eardrums, and no one could hear a thing. Itadu screamed, unable to hold back any longer. ここへ戻ってこいみんなずっと待ってるから私も待ってるから絶対に帰ってきなさい As they screamed, the machine started to fade away. And then... It just exploded and everyone died! Woo! Just as he'd promised on that distant day, he followed the two Orihimes. With a blinding flash of light, the time machine took off from the year 2025, heading for a time far away, and disappeared. エイチを持つものこそ最も愚かであるのは歴史からも読み取れる海に生ける魚は陸の世界を知らない彼らがエイチを持てばそれもまた滅びゆく人間が光の速さを超えるのは魚たちが陸で生活を始めるよりも滑
Whew. And I think now we're truly done. I think. Are these the uh, final credits, I suppose? I'm, I'm assuming so, because it looks very detailed so far. Yep. All right. Oh, man. I like this. I really did. I'm, I'm just going to straight up say it. It's what I usually do whenever I get to the credits of a game. I did like this. But I didn't like it as much as I liked Steins Gate. The original visual novel. I felt like... Holy fuck, this is loud. Uh, I got two things to turn down when I edit. Um, I felt like the original did a lot of things right. But I think it did that because it was linear. And it was easy. I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh... I don't know. I, I felt like just with how simple the the path was with uh, with the first one. Um, holy shit! This is loud. I don't know. It was easier to follow, and you can kind of choose the routes that you want to go down very easily. Come back to them maybe, but it was also difficult to get that true ending. This one it was simple to get that true ending, but it was complicated everywhere else because. You wouldn't know, uh, unless you got good memory, unlike me. You wouldn't really know what happened, or what they know, or what they've gone through, this and that. Uh, because you'd be jumping back a lot. Like, a lot. In order to find the other routes. Which isn't really hard to find, actually. And it's also not hard to get the true ending. All you gotta do is get one specific ending, and then you're good to get the true one. I don't know. I, I can understand where this sort of visual novel storytelling format can work, where it branches off into the different routes, but it just it got confusing at times. There were a lot of times where I literally had no idea where we were in the story, what had happened in that world line or that branch, and I also had no idea who our antagonists were at times, the, the, the motorcycle suit women. Because there were multiple. Kagari, who looks like Yuki and posed as Yuki, and then also Moika. It's kind of confusing with all that because of how you have to go back. But anyways, whatever. I liked it still. It told a good story, albeit confusing as fuck. But that's just how it is. Now go to the world that... Oh, I didn't read that. Alright, well, that was good on me. Solid job. I just got three fucking achievements. Ah, I got all the CGs, so I didn't miss anything in that. Uh, Alright. Yeehaw. We got new wallpaper. New everything. Um, I'm actually... I, I think there's only one achievement or two, maybe, that I have to get. Uh, in order to have all the achievements in this. It's another thing. There's some parts of this where it's easy to get everything done and to see everything. And then in the first game, there's just like a whole bunch of shit, but it's linear. I don't get it. There, there's there's more choices, I guess, for, for interaction with characters. That's actually something I kind of missed in that, or in this one, is where you could, uh, you could just get random ass texts from your, your friends. And it may be actually something random. And you can, you know, build a friendship with them and get to know them a little bit more. But I guess because you could do that in the first game and you kind of build up that friendship with them, no point in adding it in this one. I don't know. I kind of missed that. Clear list. Let's check that out. We got it all. We got it all. So Milky Way Crossing, that was uh, Okabe's ending. Well, the true ending. <laughs> Fucking Gehenna Stigma. God damn it. Uh, Vega and Altier, I'm, I'm guessing that's the other ending that we got. So, Mayuri's ending. Um, took us less than 50 hours to do this. Probably would not take the average a player or reader that long, but because of, you know, what I'm doing right now, and how slow I am to read, it's obviously gonna take a little longer. Uh, 
maybe 40 hours maybe we got all the cgs got this nice little uh section here yep doesn't look like i'm missing anything then again i did get the achievement for getting everything what if there was like a hidden cg that i just had like i, I didn't know about and look at this shit this shit looks fucking this shit looks great how do you disable the guide with the mouse oh there we go look at that shit right there that shit looks fucking badass I'm digging that. We got all the tips. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have to, like... If I want to get all the achievements, I'm going to have to, like, read through literally every tip. Is there a tip I didn't get? No, we got all of them. Uh, well, actually, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, we got all of them. <laughs> I wasn't looking at... Oh, wait! We're missing one! We're missing a tip! I wonder where I missed that. Hmm. If these are in order... No, they're not in order of when we learn them. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea where where we could have missed one then. Fuck. Well, shit, that's going to drive me crazy. So much for getting all the achievements. <sighs> oh, hey, legal Ollie. Haha. -ha! Okay, anyways. Um, I guess we're done. That's it. Thank you all for watching and, and following along with this. I think I'll be able to get this all wrapped up in 70 episodes, which is cool. That the first one I was able to do in 50, albeit very long episodes at times, especially near the end. Uh, this one, shorter episodes, but we got to 70. A little, a little further. Shorter game than the first one, but like I said, shorter episodes as well because I didn't have as much time or energy to do these sort of long recording sessions like what I did now. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you for following along, and I hope you did enjoy the story as much as I did and the adventure in general. I, uh, th here's another thing. I didn't get entirely immersed as I did in the first one. Maybe it's because there's slower pacing. You can really get involved here and there. You feel like you're, you're really learning. And this one, you're just... At times, it's just a fucking goose chase. But it was still a fun time. And now, I get to watch the anime. So I'm really excited for that. Probably won't get to it right away, since my anime watch schedule currently is very packed. I think I'm at like 10 shows, which is too much for me. Especially since I'm busy with a lot of other things. But I will definitely get around to watching the anime. I did watch the anime for Steins Gate before I played the visual novel, but that led me to wanting to play the visual novel. So I'm, I'm glad I, I finally watched it. I'm glad I got introduced to the series, and I hope to, I hope to record more Steins Gate. There is more Steins Gate out there. I do know there's the, uh, there's a title that came out with Steins Gate Elite, Elite being just the first game, but with anime illustrations and scenes. Uh, but there was like another one that came out. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but it's supposed to be like, I guess just funny scenarios or something. I, I don't know. I'd have to look at it again. But there's a lot of other Steins Gate out there, and then hopefully it all gets localized and, and, and brought here so that, you know, I could obtain it legally, purchase it somehow, and, you know, play it. Oh, and that's another thing. Thank you again to my good friend Aura, who purchased this for me. Um, I, I completely forgot. I've been recording this for months, so of course I'm going to forget, but that was months ago. He purchased this for me and allowed me to play it, so so thank you to Aura. I do appreciate that. But again, thank you to all of you for joining me along on this journey, and uh, I hope that you guys will stick around and, and join me for another journey of some sort, whether it's another Steins Gate or something else here. Thank you for also letting or listening to me ramble. I always do that whenever these uh, playthroughs end. Uh, but anyways, my name is Michael SK, and this was Steins Gate Zero. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in another video. Take it easy, guys.